All right, Shalom. This is going to be part two to Native Americans shipped, enslaved, and paraded in Spain. And I was speaking about the six Taino captives that were uh, shipped to Spain. All right, uh, Columbus brought them to Spain. And they were brought there to, uh, to, to be paraded around. Like, like they were a damn exhibit or something, man. Okay? You know, and, uh, you know, I mean, that's the point, man. And they were not only brought there just to be looked at, they were brought there to serve slavery there. All right? And, uh, and in the previous lesson, we brought out how 200 other Taino captives were brought to Spain, and they were brought there to serve slavery. And there's many other accounts that's not spoken of that, that, that proves the same fact. All right. Now I'm going to read in this book, Christopher Columbus and the African Holocaust, Slavery and the Rise of European Capitalism by John Henry Clark. And I'm just going to get to the point. All right. I'm just going to get to the point here. OK. And uh, let's see. We'll read this statement that was said by Columbus. It says uh, number 50. Well, this is on page 66. Number 50, the enslavement of the Aboriginal Indians. Okay, if your brothers can bear with me here, Just trying to hold the camera still. Journal of the First Voyage of Christopher Columbus, 1492 to 1493, Friday, 12th of October. They should be good servants, intelligent, for I observe that they quickly took in what was said to them. Sunday, 14th of October. These people are very simple as regards the use of arms. As your highness will see from the seven that I caused to be taken. Now, in this book it says seven. But we, we read in this document it says uh, six Taino captives. So, you know, you can see that uh, sometimes... Uh, Th these devils will lie But if Columbus says that it's seven It was seven You know so that's wrong in this document here It was actually seven That was uh, taken to Spain It says As your highness will see from the seven That I caused to be taken To bring home And learn our language And return Unless your highness should order them all To be brought to Castile Or to be kept as captives On the island so as you can see, Columbus was uh was down with bringing all of them to uh, Castile, Spain, okay, B bringing them all to Spain, okay. So I mean that's that's the point, man. That that's the whole point right there. That the uh, the people that you call Native Americans, the people that you call Puerto Ricans, Dominicans, Cubans, etc., Mexicans, even, all right. They, they were brought to, uh, to to Spain to serve slavery, all right? Specifically, the, the Tainos, but you had the brother Ataza Wambia in the uh, GMS South Carolina camp. He brought out information on how the, uh, the Native Americans of North America were, uh, were brought into slavery, you know, were, were shipped into slavery to uh, Europe, all right? So... It goes for uh, for all of the Northern Kingdom, okay. And, uh, and 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 like I said, I brought up Mexicans. I'm gonna bring out information on that how some of them were uh were, were shipped to Europe, okay. Now it says uh, or to be kept as captives on the island, for with fifty men they can all be subjected and made to do what is required of them. So these devils were real proud, man. And as you can see, they uh they they enslaved us, man. And when I say us, I'm talking about all the tribes, okay? But specifically, I'm talking about the Northern Kingdom right now. Okay? Now I'm on page 67. And uh it says, "You see, I'm, I'm starting right here. You see, slavery did not begin with the Im importation of African people to America." And when it says African it's talking about the Israelites of uh, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. 
All right. We're not Africans. OK. But it's talking about you so-called Negroes, West Indians and Haitians. But it says slavery didn't begin in the new world, the Americas, uh, with the importation of uh, of you, of the dark skinned tribes. You're not Africans, though. You know, it, it, it began with the uh, with the northern kingdom, man. Well, I'm, well, we'll just read it all. OK. Slavery in America began with Columbus. The first slaves were not Africans, but Native Americans. All right. And like we said, you're not Africans, you're Israelites. But that's the point right there. Slavery began with uh, the northern kingdom. And when, I, when we say northern kingdom, we're talking about the northern kingdom of Israel, which uh, which is Ephraim, which is the other nine tribes. OK, the so-called Puerto Ricans, so-called Dominicans, uh, Panamanians, Guatemalans, uh, Cubans, uh, Native American Indians, uh, Seminole Indians. OK, etc. That's what it's talking about. So, you know, like I brought out earlier, you have the scripture Deuteronomy 28 and 68, which I can read it really quick. I can I can get it when you read Deuteronomy 28 and 68. It is talking about uh, Judah. You know, it's talking about Judah. But like I said, you have to understand that the other tribes were already here. You know, uh, specifically the uh, the nine tribes. All right. That were taken away captive in the Assyrian captivity. This is Deuteronomy 28 and 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships by the way whereof I spake unto thee. Thou shalt see it no more again. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men and bond women and no man shall buy you. Now, that's talking about the tribe of Judah. They were shipped to the new Egypt, which is America. They, they were brought to America on ships. OK, to serve slavery. But what you have to understand is that the other tribes were already here. They were already in the Americas <laughs> and they were already in the Americas. According to this, in the Americas. In slavery, they were slaves, you know, so they were already here, man, you know, and they were also shipped into slavery, you know, that they, they were just shipped to Spain, man. All right. So this is for you black power, damn Israelites, man. All right. They really don't know the scriptures. OK. But that was the point, man. OK. It said how the first slaves were not Africans or well, really is to say Negroes right there. But Native Americans, Columbus wrote in his journals about the inhabitants of Aiedi, present day Haiti. All the inhabitants inhabitants could be taken away to Castile, Spain or made slaves on the island. All right. So, I mean, that's the point, man. Uh, we, we'll skip down here. Here's here's some more. Here's some more. What is also true is Columbus took hundreds of Arawak slaves to Spain. It said hundreds. He took hundreds of Arawak slaves to Spain, you know, where they were sold or died. They didn't freely go with Columbus to meet the king, as as my history books led us to believe, you know. So that, that's the point, man. That's the whole point. So, you know, uh, I, I read also, if I can find it again. I read in this document here how uh, it said that they were allowed to uh, be released. The na the natives were were uh, released in order to be shipped home. That's bullshit, man. I I I just don't believe it. You know. You know, and uh, and when you read this, it says how they didn't go freely. You know, and it was talking about to to meet to meet the king, but Esau won't just let you go freely, man. They were either sold or died. All right. But that's the point. Columbus took hundreds of, of Arawak slaves to Spain. So I hope this is edifying, man. You know, it, it shouldn't be uh, difficult to understand for the sincere brothers. OK, now you so-called Negroes, West Indians and Haitians went into slavery. But the people that you call uh, Puerto Ricans, uh, Cubans, Mexicans, etc., Native American Indians of North America, they all went to slavery too, and they were win they went to slavery 
owned ships as well, man. All right. And they were in slavery before us. All right. You know, so with that, I hope this is edifying. I hope brothers learn something from this lesson. And uh, I'll be back with, with another lesson soon. For now, I'll praise to you. How about Shimia Shai? Shalom.